Hey everyone, it's Delaney, Senior Inbound Marketing Specialist at Hive House Digital. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Documents tool in HubSpot. I find that this is an underrated tool and it has some really nice features for your sales team to use. Before we begin, I want to note that this is different from files in HubSpot. Files are for things like images for social, your marketing emails, your blog, your landing pages, while documents are a sales tool that creates shareable links and you can get further analytic data on them, which I will show you in this tutorial. So let's begin. You can access documents by clicking on sales and then documents from the drop down menu. And we should note here that depending on your subscription level and whether or not you have a paid seat uh, can um, affect how many documents you can upload. So typically you start out with five documents, but depending on your subscription, you could then have uh, many more documents. So just be sure to refer to your subscription to see how many documents you can upload. We're in our test portal right now, so you can see we have uploaded one out of five documents. If you're going to be creating a lot of documents, you'll want to use the new folder button to create folders and keep everything organized. For example, we can click on this button, new folder, and let's name it case studies, and then click on create folder. And so I've now created a folder and I have this existing case study in here. I'm gonna click on the checkbox, then move to folder, and we're gonna move it to the case studies folder. So now we have it organized. We only have one document uploaded, so Really, even if you have five documents, you may or may not need folders, but it is there if you want to keep everything organized, and it's especially helpful if you have a lot of documents to um, organize. So you click on the Upload Document button in the corner, and then you can choose from your computer, an existing file in HubSpot, Dropbox, Google Drive, or from Box. So I'm going to just pick from my computer. All right, so you can see now that I have a document called Website Checklist uploaded into our portal. And if I click on it, uh, you can see some of the other features of this tool. This page will show you how many links have been created using this document, uh, how many visitors there have been and how many views. And then once people start viewing it, you can see which people have viewed the document and a few other details that I'll get to in a second. So to create a link, you can simply create the create link button. You're gonna enter in the recipient email address, and then you can choose if you need a email address to be required to view the document. Um, so for example, I could add in Delaney at hypehousedigital.com it recognizes that the email is valid and then I can click create link and it will give me a unique tracking link to send to that contact. Now there are a couple other ways you can use documents in a HubSpot where you don't have to come directly to this page to create a link, um, but I'll get to that later in the video. So once you create the link, you can use that and send it out to your contact. So now let's go back to this other document that I put under case studies. And if I click on it, I can see that one link has been created. There has been one visitor and one view. So visitors is gonna show you, you the unique people who have seen the document in total, where views will show if they how many people have viewed it more than once. So there could be one visitor, but maybe five views because they viewed it five times, for example. Now, when we look down here, this is where I mentioned that you can see who exactly viewed the document, and that is found based on their tracking link. And if I click on details, you can see over on this side, it will even tell you which pages of the document someone viewed. So I sent myself this tracking link, for example, and it can tell that I viewed page one for about three and a half seconds, but I didn't view any of the other pages. So this will tell you and give you an idea of how long they viewed the document and how much information they may or may not have absorbed from looking at that document. And one thing to note too is your documents may change over time. For example, maybe you made tweaks to the case study, um, maybe you're uploading capabilities pages and those need changes. You can very easily re-upload documents by clicking on this white re-upload button. It's gonna tell you that it may cause discrepancies in viewing data. You click confirm and then you choose, again, you just re-upload it. But similarly to when you uploaded the document at the beginning, you choose where you're going to load it from and then it will update the document and going forward, it will have the new 
uh, document. So now that we've gone over the tool, how exactly do you use this? I already showed you how to create a link, but there are two places I wanna show you how you can use this tool more seamlessly, and that is through emailing contacts in HubSpot, as well as using your email tool like Gmail or Outlook and sending documents through there. Okay, so I pulled up my contact record in the HubSpot portal and we're gonna use this as an example. First, you're gonna click on the email button in the left sidebar. And you can see I have a practice email already in there. So I'm gonna delete that. Um, but very simply, you're gonna start writing out your email. We're gonna pretend I'm writing a well-crafted sales email. And now we're gonna click on the documents link at the very top. And then it's gonna pull up all of the documents you have access to. Now, by default, it may pull up just the documents you own, but if someone else has uploaded the document, you can click on where it says owner and then click on any, and it will show you all of them. Uh, in this case, only I have uploaded them, but if you have uh, documents that someone else has uploaded, you can do that. And then all you have to do is click on the document. So I'm gonna do the website checklist and it has inserted it into the email and it has created that unique link that will track, track it and see how much they've viewed the document. So I'm gonna remove this .pdf and then you would finish typing out your email, add your subject line, all the things you wanna do in the email. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and click send. And so that will produce that unique tracking link to this contact so then you can see if they have viewed the document. All right, so now let's go over how you can use the documents tool in your email editor. I will be showing how to use this in Gmail, um, but if you've Outlook, it works pretty similarly um, and I will note some differences as I go through it. So first you're gonna wanna add your contact to the email and then your subject line. And then you want to start crafting your email. So we're going to, once again, pretend I'm writing a well-crafted sales email. And now when I get to the point that I want to insert a document, I very simply, similarly to in the HubSpot CRM, click on documents right here under the subject line. And then it will pop up uh, recently used documents as well as uh, you can search your documents here. Um, if you want to view all, you can click this view all button and it will kind of pop up the, the documents tool inside your, your Gmail and you can view um, all of the different documents you have in there. Um, but if you initially click on documents, it will show your most recently used documents. So it might be something you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and click this thought leadership one and it has now inserted into my email and it has created that unique tracking link for this contact. Um, so of course you might want to update this. I'm gonna remove the .pdf. I don't want the dashes and let's add some spaces. And it has now um, been formatted how I want it to be. Uh, you can finish typing out the email and then of course click send and going forward, it will track who has viewed that document, how long they viewed it, how many pages they've viewed. Um, if you are in Outlook, typically the HubSpot extension is on the right sidebar and you should be able to access that document link uh, so you can add it into your email. All right, and that is how you use documents in HubSpot. I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. And once again, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next tech tip.